guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to Deep Web Exploration 3, the weekly series where we take a look at the internet that, well, maybe sometimes shouldn't be looked at. But, like always, we're gonna go right charging in, see what we can find. Maybe it might be some fucked up shit, maybe it might see some funny shit. But, this is the Deep Web. Now, last time we were on here, we uncovered some human experimentation. Now for today, I, I want to do these things in themes, you see. I kind of want to do this one typically targeted towards the occult, so... But basically we're going to try again just finding some creepy shit and clicking on links leading up here and there and seeing just how depraved we can get this episode. So that being said, sit back, relax, and let's see what the first site is in our deep web exploration. Okay, well, not exactly a deep web site. Um, you can access this using your regular web browser, but I was linked through it via the deep web. And this one is, as it says, SheaStJohn.net. I don't know if this is a cult or whatever, but it looks fucking creepy beyond belief. Look at that fucking smile, dude. It's like Jeff the Killer's fucking girl. Look at that face, dude. It is fucking weird. All right, um, I don't know what I'm gonna uncover over here, so I'm gonna fucking you know, have my hand in front of me, okay, just in case, because it's a fucking giant ass monitor that I have, so it's, I'm kind of fucking putting myself at a detriment. But enough bitching aside. Let's see what. Let's see, let's see what the whole right to shade thing is. Oh, there's a fucking email? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is the email here? Uh, shay at shaystjohn.com. So right off the bat, it has, like, this creepy thing. I'll click on that in a bit. What is Shane's DVD? Shay's DVD. Order Shay's DVD today. Shay St. John, the Triggers compilation. Okay, so it's like some chick in a wheelchair. Prosthetic... Okay, what is this? Continued viewings could lead to a padded cell and a tux with wraparound arms. Scary. Stephen Lemon's New Times L.A. Just keep in mind that you'll be trying to shake it off for hours after. I'm pretty much, I bet I would. The DVD is now ready to be ordered and shipped to you. Finally, the wait is over. The illustration to the left is the actual front cover of the DVD. The cover illustration was created by the talented Ed Maroniak. Mar Mar I don't even know how to pronounce that shit. Let me actually, um, it's another site of there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna open that up here and see what we find. Okay. Okay, I'm glad I blurred that section. Because it's basically pornography, except at one point you get into some swastika shit. Wow. I mean, this guy draws and fucking does shit good, but he's got like a chick with Satan tits here. I want to back out of that. Probably a... Wow. The cover design layout was done by Holland. That one doesn't have a link. If you'd like to see the back cover, press here. Oh, boy. I can't wait to see the fucking back cover or something. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the fuck am I looking at? I am the most satisfied sufferer in all the world. Welcome to Fun Bubble. Over two hours of praise entertainment. An epileptic woman with no arms or legs. Shay lives in sunny California with her friend Kiki. A badly disfigured baby doll. This is a series of short documenting the daily collision of Shay's glamorous fantasies with the physical limitations of her everyday life, as bile-inducing as a Fulci film, and lysergically profane as Jodorsky, only without a hint of blood, violence, nudity, cursing, while wow, the fucking text is really small, uh, cursing or off-color subject matter of any sort. Okay, sure, yeah, totally. These films with their juxtaposition of childlike imagery with sense of baby dolls on fire, the horrors of epilepsy, and the sometimes unnerving mass visage of Shay herself can be genuinely disturbing. Watching Shay do her shtick, sort of like watching a segment of one of John Waters' early flicks, say multiple maniacs or pink flamingos, but an even more akin to some hidden footage from a ward of the, for the criminally insane. There is no question about the fine line between madness and genius here. It's madness, plain and simple, dizzying in its attachment to reality, and flashing with the bright colors of early childhood. Depending on your outlook, Shea St. John is either a true testimony to the power of art to rise above adversity, or one of the most unsettling people on Earth. For fans of bizarre bouts of self-expression, Shea St. John, the Trigger's compilation, is a must-see. Fuck, man, this must be triggering the shit out of me. Special features, theatrical trailers, music videos, sneak previews, Easter eggs... I'm gonna take my fucking headsets off, dude. I don't really wanna fucking. Okay. 
Uh, like, they're in my ear, man. They're, like, fucking right above it. Okay, let me view the guest book, dude. This is fucking genuinely creepy. Okay, wait, what is this? Um, okay, the thing is offline, by the way. So, you usually you had this uh, site hosting over here for a couple bucks, but now you can't do anything. Can I sign it? I mean, I'd love to leave my mark. Okay, that won't work. You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna back out of that. Okay, what is this picture of the fucking kid with the blackened out eyes? Holy fucking shit, dude. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I can't. I'm fucking done, dude. This is this is beyond creepy as fuck. Prina gave me this picture. It is a picture of me as a baby. I think mommy needs to have some operations on her eyes and mouth. This is actually a photo of a girl named Syrup who grew up in Germany. Syrup sent it to me, and due to the fact that we look a lot alike, baby Syrup must have the same surgeon. Thanks, Syrup. Fuck me, dude. Do I dare click? It's the thing. Hi. Oh, it brought me back here. Okay. the fuck? Uh, what? These are the creepiest looking pictures I've ever seen, dude. Slowly back the fuck out of here. I only got a little bit more. Shea store. I really don't want to click on it. Okay, hold up. What the fuck? Is he telling people to kill themselves? Oh my god, mama. Oh, mama! I'm contaminated! Mama, I really am. You're so absolutely sick. I'm con contaminated. I am sick. Really, really sick. Oh my god, mama. Oh, mama! Dude, you really are fucking sick, dude. God damn. The best part is, I didn't even enter the main fucking site, too. Do I dare? There's so much of this shit to look through. So I guess I get to meet Shay. Alright, I'm gonna go look through. Okay, he has like a weird page. Then he has cobwebs, fame, movies, club. Okay, this is Shay. The picture above is a girl named Trudy. She had spiders under her hat and was infested with ants. Safe and sane. I will be updating this page with more info related to me. People are always asking me questions about my life. I feel like he's a fucking serial killer, dude. Guitars are cool. Look at all this shit.
Okay, this is the weird side. Are you weird? I heard you were. This is so fucked up, dude. I'm sorry. What the fuck am I looking at here? Friends of Shay. Alright, what is this? Shay and Kiki. Uh, anyone who to get back to this um, movie? I think the Shay and Kiki act might be some kind of performance art because that is the kind of art I do not understand. Everlasting Blur. Oh, these are people that reviewed the movies. The Los Angeles New Times. Yeah, we're backing out of this dude. Um, movies. Triggers? Let's see the triggers. Not all triggers are as important or bad as other. Triggers can be anything from a sound to a smell. I have more triggers than I can count. I can see a dirty red car and be sent off into a three day session. Click away. All links lead to triggers. Watch me during an actual trigger. Meltdown. Press Patty the Monkey. Cobwebs are everywhere. Cerebellum. I was diagnosed with this mental problem two years ago. I'm glad to know that there was a name for it. So believe me, oh my god. Dude, this guy might have a real fucking oh my god. During a mental meltdown, I can usually get to a chamber before it gets too intense. Some people out there are not as fortunate as myself. I think it's sad that everyone in the world can't have their own chamber. I love mine. Wire therapy would help a lot of people. I can have a meltdown for a hundred for a number of reasons. It can be as simple as hearing someone say, I'm a hobo. I am not. To the stresses I come with dealing with a bunch of kids who have a lot of problems. I try to stop them, but usually all I can do is ride it out and get to the chamber as soon as I can. What the fuck is this chamber, dude? That sounds like some serial killer shit. Watch me during an actual trigger. I have been overtaken without warning. I am not in control. I have been triggered. What I could, what I do depends on what the trigger was. The clip you're reviewing was captured by chance. I was in the middle of making sloppy joes for Kristen. Potty was filming me so she could remember how to make them later. Suddenly, I was triggered. Potty tried to film the whole episode, started screaming, and dropped the camera. It was edited from a small amount of footage Potty was able to capture before she broke, broke to on. It haunts me. Until this clip, I had never seen myself triggered. I have a lot of problems. Okay. Um. I think we're gonna leave the site, man. Holy fuck, my head really hurts looking at it. Before I go, I guess I might as well see the store, right? Well, the store isn't working. But right off the bat, you get some great stuff like broken neck. Whatever the fuck a hang drum is. Whew! Well, right off the bat, holy shit, our fucking uh, jimmies have been incredibly rustled right now. And I am going to see what the next site is after I cry profusely at what I just fucking saw. Oh, look at that. It's not actually uh, fucking on right now. I think the site's been down. But uh, this was like a year and 18 weeks ago. Some of these postings aren't even fucking new, really. So I guess, uh, what is this? The Freemasons website? Go to... What? Have you ever wondered what's going on in the Freemasons? This probably is bullshit. Apparently if I go to the Freemasons... I'm probably going to get shot if I do this, man. Dude, I'm fucking... What is this? What is over the Freemasons? Alright, so here are the Freemasons thing. Now it wants me to go to the Masonic Education Special uh, Project. Masonic, yeah, here it is. So right here. Um, scroll over it and you will see something marked Restricted Access. Uh, yeah, Restricted Access with a picture of a key beside. Click that and it'll ask for a username.
uh, what is it? Enter restricted area. He wants me to click on. Oh, that's fucking creepy, dude. Hold on. Ashler. Keystone. No fucking way, dude. This has got to be a fucking joke. Hold on. If I... No, no, wrong shit. If I enter the wrong stuff over here... Okay, that got me into the site. Let me try accessing it via the regular browser. Okay, swag, password, YOLO. Holy shit! Dude, if I enter the wrong thing, I actually don't get access. But right now, we have access into the fucking Masonic... No way! No part of this website may be reproduced, downloaded, stored, or transmitted in any form by any means without prior permission in writing from the copyright proprietor. Okay. This is going to be blurred out for you guys. But I have access to the Freemason fucking archives. Unfortunately, because I could get fucking butt fucked up the ass, sued and shit, this site I will describe to you with the best of my abilities. It actually, all right. What, what is over here? The word exp. I'm not. I, I don't even know if I can say anything. Holy fuck! It's an actual access to the Freemasons archives. All I can really do here is download all this shit. Wait, are the PDFs real though? Fuck me, they're real. Day one, shave head, uh, recite renunciation and proclamation three times, recite Lord's Prayer backwards three times, nightly ritual, dress for ritual and make any preliminary positions, enter ritual chamber, shut out all outside light sources, light candle, light incense, place incense and incense burner, wait, wow, isn't that redundant, wait a few moments, allow the incense to fill the room, meditate upon intent of ritual, recite preliminary statement, I have crossed the gate, ooh, Reincite incantation three or more times until satisfied that the alignment has been formed. Drink from chalice as a sign of communion with the forces of darkness. Extinguish candles, allow light to once again enter the ritual chambers. In the performance of these rites, you shall set yourself apart to the far forces of darkness. Concentrate your body as a temple of the Dark Lord. My god, he's just like detailed. And these are like the actual, okay, these are like the prayers over here. See, I renounce, oh my god. Uh, Lord's Prayers, Nima, Levi, okay. And that's backwards, okay. So this is apparently something that's backwards. Oh, amen, see? But, deliver, uh, deliver, deliver us from evil. Oh, okay. Lead, uh, oh, dude, this is the actual, like, prayer that's been like, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, give bot. Oh, Lucifer's mentioned here. I bless and concentrate these genitals. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, body. Oh my lord, dude. This is like every fucking prayer for the Satan demon, dude. This is like if you if you guys want to like fucking worship the shit, man. You can like pause the video, leave it here. It's fucking crazy, dude. Final statement. Uh, what? Wait, is that Dracula? Dracula, I invoke thee, Dracula. What? We got motherfucking Dracula here, dude. This got to be Jonah. Really, Dracula? Okay, all right. Look at all these fucking prayers, dude. This is like this is so fucking in depth. That's the thing. It's like it's like you know. There's got to be like somebody like really. This this, this thing's got to kind of be like real. I mean, like the whole flesh Bible thing. Oh my god, do you guys see all this? this? Can't this can't all be like fucking straight up like fiction or whatever like these guys are writing maybe they actually fucking found something dude holy hell watchtowers luna principality what the fuck the nut oh my lord dude
Well, well, fuck me. You guys found it, dude. These are all like names here. Battles of... Oh my lord. Well, if you ever want to hail Satan, I guess, here's where you fucking find it, right? I mean... Guess you have access to the whole fucking archive. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so this is uh, Cthulhu's resume. Solutions to common problems. We are an organized criminal group. Former soldiers and mercenaries from the FFL. Highly skilled with military experience of more than five years. We can perform hits all around the world. If you're asking yourself why someone would need to hire a killer online, we'll tell you. Simply because it's anonymous. You can always find examples of contractors who collaborated with cops when they were facing 20 years of prison. And you, the buyer, could end up in the prison because of that. On the other hand, you can find examples where police found who had the interest to put out a contra contract. And then they come to you, and you can give your testimony, which would put the hitman in jail. So it is of mutual interest to make everything anonymous. This website is hosted on a series of anonymous servers, with access to the internet through the Tor network. You can access the site anonymously only through the Tor network, which we have, and we upload files to a server through the Tor network. You can make payments with an anonymous uh, digital currency, either bitcoins. It means we don't know you, and you don't know us. We can't send you to prison, and you can't send us to prison. Of course you must take a risk when you pay in advance, but there is no interest. People, uh, wait, interest. With risk comes rewards. You take a risk, and someone can always cheat you. As we said, many criminals have the balls to do things to other people, but when they face 20 years of prison, they begin to talk with the police. Risks about prison and money are always present. If you are not ready to take a risk, don't contact this kind of organization. And no, we are only one. Real contractor there. Any others will try to cheat you. Contract Killer 2011 copyright. Alright, so let's see. Q&A. Can I see some proof of your last work? Every contract is private and all data is purged after elimination proof is sent to the customer. It is mandatory for customers and our security. Can you give me contact a person who has already used your services? Again, every contract is private, without exceptions, and we will never store or share such info after completion. Can you give me a good feedback about you and some proof after succeeded work? Sorry, but no one of our happy customers stays on forums and have time to post feedback on some trusted site. All feedback is written directly to our mail, and it will not show you any proof if we'll post it on our own page. And even if you find feedback on a page, it was written by a random person who don't have any business, who don't have with us any business. How would I, how, uh, how I would can to know that you are not a scammer as else? Holy fuck, these guys. Some simply, we don't take any prepayments. We are only, we are only who ask just for proof that you have this money in your wallet, and you'll to arrange full escrow on trusted for both per third party site. Ask more, we'll add more. We should probably get started if you have at least this. Alright, so, for this, here's how the murder schemes work. So for a regular person, low rank, it's 45 grand. Missing in action, 60 grand. Death in accident, 75 grand. Medium rank, 90 grand, 120, 150. And political high rank, 182, 40, 300,000. Uh, crippled to, oh my god, bombing, beating, holy shit. So what do they need? They need name, country, city, clear and recent picture of target, any other information you can provide is very helpful and speed things up. And there's a mail to them, and a PGP public key. Now these guys' last copyright is 2014. That means, dude... Holy fuck. Wow. Um, now these guys could easily be fakes, but who knows, man. Cthulhu's resume... Might be a real fucking thing, dude. Might just be the realest thing out there, dude. Holy shit, this is getting to be some really creepy stuff. We found another contract killer group. God damn. Alright. What is this? The Honest Cocaine Store? I mean, we've already seen a bunch of these, man. These ones are like, every time you're browsing the deep web, you'll come across the link to one of these sites. Most of them don't work, but some that do are kind of interesting to look at. Um, Alright, they have the same PGP stuff. Why use Honest Cocaine Store? Why, why would you use the store, man? Why would you buy your cocaine from here? Over 4,000 successful sales from a vendor you can trust. Trust. Eliminate the middleman, DNMs, and save yourself some money. Cheaper listings. Well, we'll see how cheap it is. Keep control of your bitcoins. Uh, no unsafe third-party wallets. And actively maintain canary will tell you it is safe to order. Great alternative resource in case of DNM downtown. Down, downtime, not downtown. Exit scams are estate seizure from governments. Okay, let's see, uh, let's go to the About Us section. I want to know about these guys, too. And they're all on the lantos.org, so is that like a fucking... 
I know, what is this? Mm. Okay, so, Honest Cocaine's personal store. Yeah, I'm on the, I'm on the site. So, best price is free shipping. All employees have a four-year university education. That means you can expect to work with professionals with high degrees of intelligence. Our cocaine is sourced directly from Colombia. We are in direct con- connect, uh, contact with an individual form. Individual from Colombia who cooks it up for a fresh for us. No middleman from Pan Am, Mexico has ever handled or contaminated the project. Uh, we will never add additional cuts ourselves. It is as close to as Colombian jungle to your doorstep as you can find. Consistent A-plus quality. All right, well, at least you get good quality out of it. Uh, any stuff will arrive in quantities greater than or equal to that of listed. We twice weigh all orders of precise measurement and purposely add extra. You'll never be shorted by us intentionally. However, machine human failure is always possible. Orders will be shipped the next day following. Okay. We are utilized the highest technology shipping and patching equipment for highest level of stealth and security for your safety. Worldwide shipping. Incredibly generous. Up to 10 kg escrow policy available. We will never send a fake or inferior grade product. We offer a fun, unique, and perfectly transparent lottery. We donate a percentage of profits. Oh, see, they're charitable drug dealers. Holy shit. Man, everyone always rags on these drug dealers, dude. Look at that. They sell cocaine to you, or me, or whoever is willing to buy, and they donate it to charity. I don't know what charity it is, but hey, they're nice drug dealers. We plan to stay in business for many years. No price or policy negotiations. No free samples. Um, let's see, uh, we offer no refunds or reships. <laughs> the cocaine came in bad. Can I have a refund? No. <laughs> well, sure, we'll give you the address. Just send it over here. And the next thing you know, the feds rate them. What is the purity percentage? My package hasn't arrived. Do we accept cash? No, we only accept Bitcoin. All the, all of them accept Bitcoin. Only Bitcoin or whatever escrow. Escrow, I think, is also a Bitcoin. What is it? What is a canary? Hold on. This is fucking going to be cool. Canary. All right, let's see what the fuck this has to offer. Sign messages provide the site is under proper ownership from a current date. If the sign message is over one week older, uh, uh, or if the canary vanishes, please be careful and PGP challenges first before ordering. The site may have been compromised, seized, or stolen. Oh, so this is how you make sure the site works. You actually just, like, back. it's like a checksum kind of thing. Um, let's go to the cart. And, you know, most importantly, let's see how much we can fucking, you know... Uh, let's see. Let's see where to fucking buy stuff. Here we go. No products in the... Oh, wait. I went to the cart. Sorry. I didn't add anything to it. Um, wow. I can't read today. Products. Let's see. We got high stakes, high quality cocaine lottery, 100 grams for 30 bucks. And let me just actually click it so I can see, like, stuff over there. And, of course, our site isn't exactly... Oh, you can't send an email or anything. Let's go all the way to the last page. That's, like, 1,260. Let's see this. Oh, it's, like, a lottery? What the fuck? Oh, oh, this isn't actually going to get you anything. This is just like a fucking lottery deal. Alright, so the most you can... Oh my fucking god, you can get 10 keys of cocaine for $376,000. Holy hell. I wonder, I wonder like what the order policy on that is too. They're probably going to be like, what? Oh no, but if you want to buy anything, so like a gram of it, I guess. Uh, it's 99 bucks. Alright, so it's $100 for a 1 gram. Holy fucking shit, dude. What is all this? Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Oh, dude, it is real. Honest cocaine. And right over there, dude, is the shit that will hook you up. Please note that anything purchased through the Honest Cocaine comes with no escrow and no refunds. If that does not appeal to you, find us on Agora under the links tab. For 250 gram orders or larger, please contact us privately first before sending... My lord, dude, they are not dicking around with you. And that was that was actually last submitted on 2014. So I don't know if the site's still up, but holy fuck, dude. Honest cocaine, they are not dicking around with you. Shit, man. <laughs> fuck my life. Alright, and this is... <laughs> There's something good on everything, man. This is probably one of the best sites on the uh, deep web right here. This is cat fact, so cat fact number 83. A cat has 230 bones, humans have 206. Cat has no collar bones, so it can fit through any opening the size of its head. Now, new fact. Oh, boy. Let's see, what, what new fact am I going to get now? 42. The smallest pedigree cat is a Singapore, which can weigh 4 pounds, 1.8 kg, or about 5 large cans of cat food. Largest is the Maine Coon cats, which can weigh 25 pounds, or nearly twice as much as an average cat weighs. <laughs> Fuck my life, dude. Well, 
I guess that's the end of this deep web exploration. Some of it has actually been websites you can access without the deep web, but I've been linked to them via the deep web. And one thing you also have to understand is the deep web isn't exactly inaccessible. Of course, you can access it. Um, these websites just haven't actually been linked through like proper, um, how should I say, like, like they haven't actually been um, worked on or linked through like, you know, they haven't been indexed by search engines really. It's a, it's a complicated thing. I'll definitely have to explain it to you guys in a different video. But um, these have been some of the creepiest sites uh, that I've seen so far. And I'm only digging further into the can of worms. So who knows where we go next episode, ladies and gentlemen. We've looked at cocaine stores. We've checked out Cthulhu's resume. We saw a website that I'm still trying to forget. Um, and <laughs> fuck. It's been an interesting ride so far. So, that being said, this has been Deep Web Exploration. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. Tell me what kind of sites you want to see next. Uh, I mean, I've heard some stuff about a game called Sad Satan. I've looked it up. It's kind of inaccessible right now, but if I ever get access to it, I'll play it for y'all. Or I'll play something else. Um, download a couple videos here and there. But that being said, this is me, Mudahar, and I am out.